Hi, this is Genevieve and you're watching Beats TV. Stay tuned. Much for that. Um, <laughs> Tito says, Genevieve, nice one on CNN's Africa Voices last month. I saw it. My favorite line for you, from you was, I cannot diss my country, man. Like, that was fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Now, you meet a lot of people from all over the world. Do you find that they ask you questions like that a lot because they don't know that much about Nigeria, they haven't been, or is it just general, just downright ignorance? Um, some people are definitely ignorant, but not their fault. I mean, they've not really had anybody to school them about Africa as a whole. Um, I don't meet that many people anyway that are ignorant, so a good thing. You have been to America then? I, I have been, go, I have there. been, and I, I know I was asked one time, oh my god, where are you from? And I'm like, um, yeah, I'm Nigerian now. She said, do, do you know Ko, Ko, Kojo? I'm like, who? Kojo is a comedian. comedian. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we kind of live. Next mm. to each other. Thirty-nine percent of Americans didn't know who the vice president of America was, so they're not very clever there. At all. They, they goes my U U.S. visa. Uncle <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Chris on Facebook says Joseph Benjamin are Nigerian Morris chestnuts. You are too bad. Whoa, that's a compliment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, we're, we're going to ask you guys. So let's start with uh, you, Joseph. What's the uh, what's the, what, what's the process for you? You get you, you, you get a script, and what what happens then? Um, I get a script. I read through, mm -hmm. um, understand the story. Mm -hmm. If there's one that is um, that's got good focus for me, what I look out for is a script that will create a good platform for me to uh, express myself as an actor, you get it, not being boxed or typecast, you get it, so that's basically, those are the things, those are the qualities I look out for, okay, so something that will create a good platform for me to express myself, and if it's good, I go with it, okay, yeah, that's, that is how I select, that is how I select, and, um, but uh, majorly my, my, like, credit to my manager, she does a lot of, um, screening, okay, yeah. You, I'm sure most of your roles, you always get, get to play good guys. You ever play a bad guy? Yeah, yeah seriously. I, but yeah, I've been a bad guy like twice, yeah. And it, it was a good challenge. I, I loved it. Yeah. You have to go and make your face ugly to be a bad guy. But <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they wouldn't take it say, this guy is too good looking to be a bad guy. But, but that's, that's, that's the mistake. A lot of them bad guys are good looking, you know. Mm -hmm. Unassuming. Denzel Washington, as, as stunning as he is, and I know stunning, but he was a bad guy in what, what was it, Training Day? Yes, yes. That's so you can is. have very handsome bad guys. Yeah. There's a message here from somebody who believes you should play um, more movie roles. Okun Okiki says, hi, The Beats. Joseph, I think it would be nice to see your face uh, in more movies. You are really cute, so why not flaunt that face more in movies? Will do. Will do. Thanks a lot for the compliment. Will do. We're working on it. <laughs> now, would you, how do you do it? Do you, like get the script and walk around the house reading to yourself or do you sit down somewhere quietly or do you get someone to act out something you, know, you call your sister or your brother to act out the role for you with you no no i get the script uh -huh. read the story understand uh -huh. the story the best way to understand is read to yourself okay. understand that now yes then from there before you because you, know, you know that you, you know you should be sort of have some sort of be a level of some kind of preparation but before you get on set. Of so, course, so of course, that's, where, that's why we have rehearsals. Yeah, sure. yeah, that's why we have rehearsals, okay. so you get into the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you must understand the story first off and the character before you're, then before you rehearse mm -hmm. to actually get in. Have you ever been on set before and didn't know your lines? So, um, Come on, be honest. Yeah, but... <laughs> 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 so how do you... Had to improvise. <laughs> <laughs> so you faked it then? No. <laughs> what about you, Jeremy? Have you been on set before? Uh, we're here, we're here. Well, have you been on set before where you didn't know your lines? You did. That's like a normal occurrence. You're going now with all confidence that you're like, so why are you here? What do I. Okugo Adora says, Genevieve, what? It, you must get um, a lot of fans who you know, say, I love you, and some people might criticize you as well because of, you know, you're always in the spotlight. And how does this affect you on a daily basis? Does it worry you? And then she goes on to say, well, don't worry, because Adara will catch a grenade for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll throw one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, That'll be a This is election time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the truth of the matter is, um, in the beginning, Beginning, you know, you know, this grenade they've been throwing mm. really left, left, and centre has been there from the onset. Um, it, it used to worry me back then, but then you know, it didn't kill me. 
um, only made me stronger. It didn't necessarily hold me back. Mm. Things improved. So I've, I've learned to realize you probably need these buildings to stand upright. So I welcome each and every one of them. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> I just I get a, I get a lot of hate mail every day, <laughs> and that's just from my family. <laughs> like that. And the next six thousand from people you owe money to. Yes, 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 let's move on from there. Don't, mm. don't remind them. Let's not remind them. Um, all right, uh, that's nice. Says, hey, Olisa, it's your boy Ice. Okay. Genevieve, I really love you in that movie. I have a quick question for you and and for Joseph. What was it like working on this movie? And what was it like working with Mr. Ali Balogo? Yeah, he's li listening, by the way. He <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good answer. Good answer. Uh, it was. It was. It was actually challenging. It was. It was challenging in its own in its own way because we had to watch with um, work with the foreign team. Um, and um, obviously we are not necessarily used to shooting on film, mm -hmm. so we had a lot of catching up to do in mm -hmm. that sense. And I've had my share of experience, but you never get used to it completely. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's a huge, mm -hmm. deep camera yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just have the to small have ones we use here are intimidating mm -hmm. enough, so imagine that. You just mass them on, just following you around. Mm -hmm. yeah, and shooting on film is quite... Um, Quite yeah, you just have to, you just, you need to have your acts together. You yeah. can't make that many mistakes. That's basically because yeah. it's quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't waste film. No, no, that's no. why all these cameras, and those cameras, they don't, they bring out every pimple, every something every that you have. Every detail, every little detail. I'm not, I'm not talking from experience. I really? The look on your face I, I, says I don't, you I don't, are. I don't, I don't get pimples. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we have another one here. Oko Kiki says, um, oh, I read that one anyway. That's about you flaunting your face, Joseph. Greg Ihadera says, hey, G and J. Alright, so I think you're friendly <laughs> terms now. G and J. Yep. I saw the trailer and wow, this is Nollywood times 10. Very good, Jenna says, that movie is the bomb. Seriously, I don't do Hollywood, I'm sorry, Nollywood movies, but I will have to watch this one. This, uh, this is fantastic. Black D, that's Kane doing so that on Twitter, says, Very happy to hear the voice of Genevieve. I can't wait to watch Tango with me. And Very Ujene says, That movie is the bomb. Seriously, I can't wait to have I have a question. Okay. Okay, without giving anything away, I've heard the, the adverts on radio. I have seen the trailer. I can't tell you that I know what this movie is about. Now, we've had Mr. Ali Balogu in here, and he told us that it's about communication. What would you say the movie is about to you, without giving anything away? Take that, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, um, it's the movie deals with love, betrayal, um, betrayal, commitment, and um, trust. Yet it has a deal with a very delicate issue, which a lot of people shy away from. Hi, this is Joseph Benjamin, and you're watching It's TV. Stay tuned.